Hi, everyone. We're just on here for Nikki and myself here for International Crafters. She is trying to get our chat situated so then we don't get bots in it. There's a way um, we're just learning th this. And today we're going to be doing some kind of art with our toilet paper rolls. We don't, we didn't have anything quite planned because we kind of like to be spontaneous on this and invent it as we go. So that's kind of our thing. So we're just going to make some abstract type of sculpture or something. Um, this time, I think the last time we might have made a journal or something. So we're going to try to do something different with toilet rolls or paper towel rolls and that kind of thing and see what we can come up with. So as Nikki's working on that, I was looking up for some inspiration and I kind of um, found a few cool things that you can do. You can cut them up into different heights, glue them together, um, make them look kind of like, um, what's the word, coral or something like that, plant life and things like that. So I don't know. There's so many different choices. Um, so because we haven't really thought about it, I just got, I'm going to have to come and think about something really quickly here, but yeah, something really cool and abstract. And I want it to be one whole piece, I think. Um, maybe could glue it to a piece of cardboard or something. I'm still not sure a hundred percent how I want it to stand out. So maybe on a canvas would be good. So that's what we'll be doing today. You can use all sorts of cardboard tubes. Um, I have quite a few different variations of like thicker tubes from uh, like paper, printer paper, all that kind of stuff. But um, if you want to manipulate it, this is the thinnest, the, the, the kitchen roll and then and, and the rest, the bathroom roll. So yeah, we can kind of play with that and maybe inspire us to do something bigger different. I don't know. So that's that. Okay. I don't know how many rolls I'm going to need. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to grab... Do you happen to have a canvas, Nikki? A canvas, yeah. Okay, well maybe we can just mount them on a canvas as we go or something. We could do a canvas or a cardboard because we could paint it. If you don't want to use up your canvas, you can use just a piece of cardstock or whatever if you like. I'm just going to grab a canvas because I do have one. But it's kind of a beat up one. It's got some beat up in the sense of probably cat paws on here or something like that. And I'm just going to start playing. And um, I don't want to flatten these rolls up too much. I don't want to do that common craft that everyone has those like kind of like eye shape rolls. I kind of want to do something a little different. So I'm just going to play with it. I've seen a couple of different ideas. You can cut it flat. You can cut an angle. I'm going to just try a couple different things and see how I like it. Probably could put a roll inside a roll. I don't know what I'm doing. But... I'm going to try this one I saw and see if I like it. I got quite a few rules to choose from here. So if I make something I don't like, I can kind of decide to not continue with that idea. I think it'd be really cute painted and that kind of thing. I'm going to, first of all, try to make this kind of the same height all the way around. This is just playing with it. So many, there's so many different fun kids projects. I want to see if we can kind of come up with something that an adult can have fun with too. So, maybe... I don't know. We can put a roll inside a roll too. 
I just don't know what design I want to go with, but I think I'm just going to go for the this look and see how many rules I need for that. I might cut this one up a bit here. I think I'm going to go a little smaller on the inside. Since I did this one at an angle, I might have to paint it before I glue it down because I might want different colors. I'm not sure. And if I glue it down together, I might end up being really hard to paint and separate. So I'm just cutting slits. I'm not sure if I want to do this all the way through. No, this one's just going to be a smaller roll. And I'm going to see how I like that. See if I like it. So if I go smaller. So you can really um, make it smaller, smaller, smaller. That would be cute. I kind of like the idea. I like the angling, so I might keep continue doing that. Let's see if I get enough angle. Because, I mean, that looks kind of cool. Do different thicknesses and stuff. All right, let's see how this goes. Well, I couldn't figure that out. I'll have to, um, I will have to play with that after. I'll have to watch a video on it later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have to watch a how-to video. Oh, well, I should have thought of that before uh, before we came on. Oh yeah, well, shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if this works. Just get my cup of tea before. Uh, okay. I'm kind of like get comfy. Okay. Let's get comfy and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to figure out how much. Uh, well, I kind of like I don't know. So that's my idea. I'm not sure if I'm liking so many layers on the inside. Maybe I don't. Maybe three layers is too much. Maybe. Yeah, we'll get it figured out by probably next time, I imagine. I'm just checking my messages to make sure everybody's okay. I think so. It's just Cora update on her. They're having this uh, little competition at school. It's called Hunger Games. And during the hours of the bell rings, during, I guess, class time and stuff, they have these clothes pins that they got pinned on the other person to get them out or something or whatever to kind of get them. And once the bell bring, rings in between, that doesn't count that time. So when they have to switch their stuff in a locker and all that kind of stuff. And then once the, the next bell rings and it's kind of like on again, interesting. So I guess you got to collect these pins from these people. They say you have to collect from mm -hmm. the clothes pins with their names on them. 
to win the Hunger Games at the school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She was really looking forward to it. So it's been all last week, and I guess it's still going on. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure how I like it, but hey, I'm just going to have fun with this. Do I want to start in the edge or do I want to start in the middle? I'm I just realized that, that most of my rolls are not flattened. Oh. Because I used them for um, making <laughs> little booklets. Oh. Uh. So I'm just going around trying to find unflattened ones. Might be a minute. <laughs> I still don't know what I want to do, but um, I'm going to do some cut open, some not. I think I like that. It's like uh, really. Open to. Whatever, that's kind of cute. I got to think of something that I like. I like that. It's now, it's too, it's like, do we glue it together and paint it after? Will that be tedious? Um, if we like something and then we paint it all, and then now how do we know what, how, what we like? It's like, ah, you know? Like, right now, I'm liking this. I might just glue it and worry about painting it after. Maybe we could do, like, a spray or something, like a water, you know, like an ink spray. I don't know. I'm going to glue it just because I really like that look. Okay. Get him. Get him. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna glue it because I like it. because yeah, I keep my most of mine flattened. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was like, oh no. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just like, oh okay. Yeah. It's okay. I've managed to find some I hadn't flattened, so good. Well, now we're recycling. This is gonna be great. I think it'll be harder to paint if I decide to be careful about the paint precious, but we also could do like a spray that would look corally or, you know, I don't know. So maybe I'm just worrying about something I don't need to worry about. Just glue it down and enjoy the process. I never tried this before. I have tried doing like almost like a iron look with the toilet paper rolls, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Years ago with the girls. This is interesting. I've never tried this, so this could be fun. It looks like fun so far. So good. <laughs> could be. So far, I'm having fun. So that's the point. Yep. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> you don't have to do like slits or whatever. Yeah, I just think oh, that. No. I won't be doing that. <laughs> yeah. I just think that I, yeah, I like the idea. I never tried it. So let's do it. Yep. I might curl some down more than others. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun with it. Just in my thinking process. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. My last week's project was a kind of a fail. But I have to say, after we turned off the video and we were both kind of talking about it, we fixed it. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually happier with it. I'll show you quickly. 
I didn't add the um, more string like I would like to, but it looks a lot better as a book, cutting the back off. So it's just got to have ahead of time planning, knowing what we're doing on that one. <sighs> but it just might take me a little longer. <laughs> Because I'm trying not to do what I did last time, which was the um, which was, was my little wall hanging thing. Oh, oh. So you did this before, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, I did a um. Yeah. I can't remember my yeah, brain. flowers. I did the flowers in in a frame. Oh, I think I slightly remember. Mm, yeah. I mean, I might do a frame thing again, but yeah. I don't know. I don't really know. And decided. My cat's howling. Mm -hmm. This one, I think I'll just cut right through. A hungry cat. My electricity went off earlier, and I was like trying to figure out what was going on. There was no explanation for it. So it was off for quite some time. I was like, well, it's going to come back on. Hopefully not when Nikki wakes up. <laughs> like hopefully before then, because there's no way I'll be able to make a video. <laughs> no power. Oh, I think I um, dripped a lot of glue down here, but oh well. I don't know what they were doing, so... What you did TikTok yesterday when someone was just getting things to fit into other things? It was like, you know, if I slide mm -hmm. this unrelated thing into a, you know, it'll be a perfect fit. Yeah, That's really weird. I don't know. Sometimes you just go down the rabbit hole, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay then. Work out. I've got to find. I'm not own. sure if I should have looped that head. Map. I just took a stand and said, yeah. I'm the cutting mat. I'm just going to have fun with it and see how it goes. Let's just do that and not worry about how it ends. I think I could do smaller things inside or something, really pack it in. how long this could take us here too but hopefully not too fast <laughs> but I mean we got painting and going and whatnot I like that um, you get to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that in some projects you know like Gluing, cutting, painting, not just one thing. Yeah. And that it challenges me as well because, you know, we have different skill levels for different things. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, definitely, it's definitely challenging for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just like, oh, I walked past it. So it wasn't like a plan. I just like, oh, yeah. You know, I haven't done this in play with toilet paper rolls and I'm overflowed with toilet paper rolls because people people keep giving them to me for kids crafts for a library yep easy peasy type of recycling thing so they are easy to come by hi hi should have decided, been yeah. <laughs> decided to join me <laughs> Uh, his name, his name. It left me again. Let me think. 
Oh, I know it. I know its native name. Oh, I'm so bad. All I could think of is Bob. Maui? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember his name. I always think of Bob because that was <laughs> Bob before. So. TC's name. TC's yeah. name. Yeah. You can't have two Bobs in the house, can you? <laughs> no, no. But before you had a name for him, he was for a little while. So, and it just stuck with me. <laughs> right. Okay, let's get and do something, puss. I was thinking about Reese Packer the other day. And I was talking to the lady at the library because she was borrowing, we loan out um, puzzles. And her cat has no interest in the puzzles. Sometimes her cat will re rearrange pieces and that kind of thing, right? And I was like, oh yeah, Reese Packer likes to eat them. Like he loves cardboard. He just tears apart a box. So you could give him a box under the table and he just tears it apart. You just gotta sweep up all the pieces he rips off and bites, right? And I was thinking, well, he was found in a recycling bin, in the in the cardboard <laughs> bin. I wonder if that has anything to do with yeah. you know, just having that smell that he likes or something where he was for a while when he was so small and kitten. Or if it's just coincidence. But boy, does he love cardboard. He will eat. You have to hide it from him if you don't want him to eat it. Just the, the subject comes up because... Um, Maui is a, a rescue as well, correct? Well, adopted. Yeah, but not 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 like that. <laughs> no. no, but nothing so dramatic. <laughs> he was needed a forever home. Somebody was were they just an older people who had him and needed to rehome him or? A breeder, yeah. Yeah, a breeder, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They were thinking of having him put down because of his eyesight. Because mm. he'd lost his, you know, he had ulcers in his eye and I just couldn't mm -hmm. show him anymore or anything or breed from him because of his eyes. Mm. Okay. Oh, he's adorable, though, isn't he? He's just adorable. Well, to me, he is. He it's is. Not to people who don't like cats. <laughs> well, I think he's adorable. He's always like so adorable to me. He's uh, always asked to go outside. He's adorable. Well, she's gonna have to get off the table, otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's hogging the stardom there. He's got stars in his eyes. Gonna craft something. To throw you up in a second, puss. Not literally, you understand. wonder who named him originally like if she had children that named him or something oh, I, well maybe grandchildren because she was yeah. very old <laughs> or great grandchildren yeah well although bob bob the builder is um my children's age so yeah well, i'm just wondering like who named um, him and why did they name him that well he got bob bob the builder too two because his dad was bob the builder Ah, so from the builder too. I see. Interesting.
I'm gonna try to use all the, I have different colors of toilet roll, but. Uh -huh, you're trying to go white. <laughs> you stinker. I don't know if I can, cause I don't know how many I have, but it'd be easier to paint, but who knows, I guess it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Are you in mom's way over there? Snippity, snippity. I've been wanting to buy a classroom full of jelly um, jelly squares, you know, to make jelly print papers and stuff like that. And I never did buy them, but oh, I really wish I had. Making them is just kind of a pest and keeping them all in the fridge and whatever some people's recipes are. Yeah. So I never did get into making them. I just went and bought a, like once two, actually one small one and one round one. Yeah. But sure would have, now they're getting really popular again, but they're really getting expensive. Sure would have liked to have had a like 10, 15 of them. Oh. To say that's something to uh, aim for, isn't it? <laughs> Pardon me? That's something to aim for in the future. Yeah, yeah. Just to, to be able to do a classroom. I just think that they're they're fun for kids, especially. Like me, they're, they're not my fun. Like a lot of people like to play with them. Mm -hmm. I just don't have the time to sit there and design a bunch of paper that I'm not sure if I'm going to use and use paint, you know. But a lot of people enjoy making them yeah and it would it's a fun thing for like a class or you know like people to make like a, a matted piece of art kind of thing or something for adults even or something you know or but when you're not that's not your thing to do like go to thing to do all the time We made salt dough last week. Salt dough, sna salt dough snakes. I was expecting them to be all about finger thick, and they are ginormous. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm like I bake them for hours and hours. <laughs> I, they probably could use still some more baking. One day I baked them for four hours, and the next day I went to work and it was like another four hours. I baked them on like two hundred. I'm like, these things are just so thick. I hope I did enough to, so then they don't like on the inside get icky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I will have to show you a picture of these kids. They're just, they're amazing. These snakes that they made. If I have a picture still. Look at these things. Like that snake right there. Jackson, <laughs> yeah. Like look at my oven in comparison to the size of the snakes. <laughs> like they're huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they're huge. 
<laughs> and I kept like, you guys, they're so big. We like, why don't we break them down and make them small? So they were like, oh, but we like these big snakes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I couldn't like make them put them down. And <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, these kids were so adorable. We like them so big. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm working with three to five year olds. Oh, how's that? Yeah, that's uh, different. <laughs> yeah. You're used to adults right I'm now. Primary carer for, for one girl, but you know, you're there. And so, yeah, you're actually you're still with everyone as well because their uh, kids don't understand that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're there and you're available. It takes you for that second to do something for them. you got to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, okay, <laughs> and uh, it, it's amazing, you know, that they'll they'll start chatting to you and talking to you, and and uh, they'll just keep calling your mum. <laughs> okay, oh, mum, that's yeah. cute. It's actually more like grandma, but you know, <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Well, I um, introduced Ducky, Kendra, as Ducky because she's Ducky to, to Jackson, right? And Jack, she's babysitting. Yeah. She's watching Jackson, but she brings Jackson to the club, craft club at the library. But I said, can you help me this week? Because I have all this dough and I can't mix all the dough, right? Yeah. It's going to be like bowls and bowls of dough and I, the kids are going to need help. So she helped me and I introduced her as Ducky. Yeah. Just by habit, right? Because that's her nickname around the house. And then when I said, oh, Kendra, can you help her? The little kid looked at me and said, growled and said, ducky. <laughs> like, <"Okay." laughs> it was so adorable. Like, ducky. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. And they just met. Like, it was just so cute. Little girl. <laughs> like, they get, they have such personalities and they get so attached real fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's very rewarding, of course, and uh, mm -hmm. and I'm learning, trying to learn Maori now as well. Yeah, um, you know, I've been trying since I've been here, <laughs> but um, I'll be immersed in it every day. So it's like, and uh, and then I have to ask these three, th you know, three, four, five year olds um, <laughs> to help mm -hmm. me with my Maori. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, make it look hilarious as well because you know, their teachers speak Maori already. Yeah, there's one little boy, he's um, descendant of Philippine, mm. and he calls me ma'am. Yeah, I guess that's how his parents, right? There, this he follows yeah. the footstep, and it was, it's so adorable, and he's so helpful. <laughs> The politeness on that boy, like compared yeah. to to everyone else, is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's great. At, you know, when, when they're down to eat their morning tea or their lunch or anything like that, they've got to um, ask to leave the table, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's all in Maori, and then I have to respond in Maori as well. And it's like. <laughs> As the adult at the table, you have to give them permission to go. Yeah. And, you know, and then, then you have to tell them, they have to push their chair in under the table and, you know, you have to instruct it all in Maori. <laughs> Aw. It's like, okay, then. <laughs> yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. But um, I'll get there in the end. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be fast, I think. I don't know whether I'll be fast because, you know, when you get to You'll a certain age, up. if you haven't yeah. learned languages, it's actually very difficult to learn a second but language. You have been, you read a lot. You, you're very educated. Like, you mm -hmm. know, you keep your mind busy. You, you boat, you exercise. So you shouldn't, yeah. like, if you didn't do all those things, I would see you might be having difficulty. But keeping yourself healthy and exercising really does keep your brain sharp. Mm -hmm. so and uh you're you know you're a reader and all that kind of stuff too so when you eat healthy so 
yeah, so, all those things. I was learning. I was watching things, and I was learning about how to keep your brain sharp because you know, getting older, you don't want to like. It's easy to let it slip. So, yeah. <laughs> and because I have Alzheimer's in my family. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm, I know what, you know, on top of it all and keeping, you know, keeping up with that. So then I feel a little bit better because yeah. there's stages that you can catch things at for, you know, tough, you know, get things to be like going in a better direction. And being active is a uh, very key oh. to keeping your yep. mind. So, uh, so our dragon boat season, well, you know, the um, season is finished, but we're this year we're going to do a winter season, which we mm -hmm. didn't do last time. Mm -hmm. And uh, but that doesn't stop for an, until June. Yeah, so we've got a couple of you know weeks break in that, and. Uh, and i got, got my awards this year <laughs> oh and uh so my award was for the splashiest <laughs> 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 and the other one was for energizer bunny <laughs> Aww, that's awesome uh, well it is because um i'm now yeah. the, i'm the third oldest in the boat yeah. 22. <laughs> yes. You guys, the energizer buddy. <laughs> whoever's watching this have to realize that Nikki's been a long time into sports, into tri uh how you say it? Triathlons, yeah. Yes, yeah, trial like five marathons. Just, yeah, <laughs> like just marathons and like just active. Yeah. Woman here. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Keep going. Energizer like Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's hilarious. But yeah. I certainly didn't feel like the Energizer Bunny this weekend. Mm. I had to go in for some testing. Mm. You, can't, you can't actually see it very well on here, but I've got bruising. Oh, I see up it. My like hand, it. Yeah. Up my hand. Up my hand. Around the back of my hand. Up here. Yeah. And uh, so that was done Friday. And uh, and we were dragon boating on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, and I thought, oh, I can't stay for the picnic be afterwards, you know, because we because mm -hmm. our regatta was cancelled due to COVID, so we yeah. held our own little event for the day where our two teams were just racing against each other. Yeah, and um, I certainly did not feel like the Energizer Bunny on Saturday, but uh, but our team did really well. We only had sixteen in our boat. The other boat had 18, but mm -hmm. um, we won two of the three races. Nice. So uh, we, we were happy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for one of the, we, there's one race they call there the upside down race. Mm -hmm. And you're not, it's not that you're standing on your head, <laughs> <laughs> but you have your paddles upside down. So you actually got the handle in the water. Oh, the, yeah. The, and holding the blade in your hand so it's upside down so there's really nothing of the paddle to go through the water mm -hmm. and, you, and, you, and you paddle 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 and you feel like you aren't getting anywhere but actually you, do, you can actually move quite fast yeah yeah it's quite uh, amusing <laughs> that's gonna be hard too, to hold the other end but yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm quite, um, um, I don't know what the word is, but admiration, like just seeing all the stuff that you've been up to and yeah. pretty cool. But anyways, that's my, you know, oh, Nikki. I don't know whether you can actually see, see this one on here. Okay. There's probably too much light there. You could probably put, oh yeah, you can see. But, but that's the upside, the upside down paddling one. Look how yeah. close we were in our teams. 
<laughs> wow, that's awesome. And that's with the paddle upside down. So yeah, uh, you're moving. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What a fun challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Never done that before. <laughs> It's first time for me too. Mm. <laughs> Upside down paddling. Mm -hmm. Just gluing down my edges here. Mm. This could take a while. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I just I can understand that. I don't even know. I'm just like gluing my bottom down because I'm like after all that and then take them apart and paint them. I don't think I want to do that. Like once I find a position, I think I'll just have to figure out how to paint them paint on there, yeah. carefully. And if it's the wrong choice, then next time I know. <laughs> I just think. Like it looks so cool. I don't want to have to take it all apart and then paint it and then put it all back together. I'll be bending things. I could add little pieces here and there. So there's a lot of glue going to be in there too, but hmm. try to get. Yeah, I got the splashiest because normally I'm at the back of the boat. Yeah. And uh, and the water at the back of the boat moves faster than at the front of the boat. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, when our stroke isn't there, then they put me at the front of the boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's where I end up splashed. And also as well, our paddles are too, uh, just a fraction too long for me. So when I try to lift them out of the water quite often yeah. i'll just i'll just um yeah i'll catch the water because i can't quite lift it out far enough to get clean water yeah and uh and the poor old uh caller on the front of it gets soaked she says that she only gets really wet when i'm at the front of the boat <laughs> quite funny yeah. quite funny Lovely. I gotta figure out what colors I'd like to go with this thing because I don't even know where I'm going with it. <laughs> I kind of don't either. I'm just like, do I want to go like corally or do I want to go like plant lifey? Like, ugh, I don't know. <sighs> I've been reading a lot about, um, orchids lately mm -hmm. someone gave a while back gave away an orchid and i like grabbed it and um it's been doing okay and stuff and start to grow its little little what they call spikes or whatever so i'm like well i guess i should maybe learn how to take care of this thing it was months ago too like i'm like i guess i should learn how to take care of this thing <laughs> um before it starts flowering and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I've been reading about them and, and that kind of thing. So they have such unique flowers, like, wow. I've always kind of been um, not an orchid 
think mm -hmm. that I could be an orchid person because it just seems like there's so demand. But it seems like they've, they're not maybe as demanding as what people, or they, what they started off to be or something. Where I'm going with that, I don't know, but I, maybe I'll make some. <laughs> you went somewhere with it. Well, I was thinking maybe I can make some, invent some kind of orchidy thing or something. I just find it so amazing that plants can live off in the jungle off a tree without damaging the tree or anything and just like live happy lives. It's so amazing. Yeah, some of them do. Some of them just kill the trees, don't they? Well, yeah, but the orchids are not like that. Mm -hmm. There's different plants that are like that. But yeah. Orchids are not parasites. So I found it very, very interesting to learn about them. So yeah, this is kind of maybe inspired by some of that. I don't know even because that those things are just amazing. I have not even brushed the top of how beautiful those orchids are, but it's quite inspiring. I don't know if I'm adding in there if that would like, what do I want to do with these things? Do I want to keep adding more layers? <laughs> I don't know. Right. I'm going to have to get my glue gun or something, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of all up in the air still here, too. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> so my glue gun's got a very short, um, very short bleed. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know when the last time I used mine here. I've used it a couple times at work. Yeah. As backup, just little glue guns for kids if some things weren't gluing for them and they're getting frustrated. <laughs> I have one kind of plugged in on the side so I could just, oh, let me just get that for you so it sticks. Oh dear, <laughs> might have to do it all over here, <laughs> might be slightly off camera. Oh, that's okay, I think. Not that it matters. Yeah, it's just the glowing part. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try to do, hmm, what am I going to try to do? A wave of some sort, maybe I'll grab a dowel. Oh boy, reach, reach. Oh. I like this, and then we go a little bit like this, and then we go a little bit like this. I think wedding wedding 
wedding these guys would be a fun project to try one day too and try to see if we can mold it into something. That could be crazy. Now I'm kind of rolling it up this way, rolling it up that way. Don't know if I like it. Putting lots of glue in the bottom here. And see how it works in here. Perhaps the other way. No, 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 no. <laughs> Waiting for my glue gun. I don't know if I like that. Do I like that? So I'll plug in my glue gun and it'll make it all go nice and quick. <laughs> That's what she thought. That's what I thought. I don't know. Cute? Weird? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Sure. I don't know. I'm sure I'll feel about that one. I'll have to maybe try it in a different one. Maybe I'll try. Maybe just doing wavy like that is just not... Maybe I'll just do a arch instead of a wave. We can do a archy thing. So much to clean up. I was just about to clean up when you called. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know. Don't worry about it. I just got I still have time to clean up after I think, depending on how long we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's does it just does oz me and how much how messy things can get. And I really think it's because the dogs this floor is just a mess. doesn't want to stick. Hot glue would have been really nice maybe at this point. Some of the inside stuff. Yeah, I get lots of strings on this though, so you can't get rid of them, can't you? Mm-hmm. Well, you can heat them up a little bit with the heat tool. Yeah. Get them to shrink back, but. Right at the end. A quick blast.
I'm getting blue everywhere. No one's on the um, chat. Nope. We're getting people popping in and out. But... Well, I don't get to see like if that happens. But I just see yeah. if anyone's chatting. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a curve on this guy. Are you going to hog the heater over there? Dog likes to go and sit in front of the heater. What's a dog you're talking to? I thought you were talking to the cat. Oh, no. <laughs> the cat's licking the dog's cheeks now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Dogs are dirty. You've got to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> clean yourself up, ma'am. <laughs> Make yourself presentable. Yeah. Uh, had to clean up all of my mess this morning from last week. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. My goodness, I haven't been crafting at all extra. I don't know. I got it because I think I'm out of videos. But I just haven't. I haven't. Right, pup? I think I'm hurting my shoulder the way I'm sitting because I'm leaning so much <laughs> so, to try to get under the camera. Gotta not do that. It's so quiet here. Chloe's gone now. She's going to be working for the next week. So quiet. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. And I think this week I work all mornings except for today, work evening. So I'll have evenings off, which I guess is good. A little, little bit more, not my own time, like the TV's always on or something, you know. It's like you don't get quiet time. It's so quiet, the library. <laughs> so quiet. Do I still get all the... Um art battle live streams and that oh i haven't i haven't um been getting him no yes like i, I do 
I haven't so, yet. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, I haven't. Thanks, but... Art Battle. <laughs> I'm not really, I did it and it was fun, but I don't, you know, did it, done it. It's... I had it here and uh, and I'm glad I didn't do it. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. But it's, it was an experience and I think I got the experience and I just don't, mm. it wasn't like, I think that was good. You know what I mean? Like. Don't yeah. have I'm glad I did it. I got to the second round. Yeah. Um second painting, which was nice. I had three prepared. <laughs> if I would have won the second round. But um yeah. Yeah, I don't have like a feeling like I want to need to do it. Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I did win one round and I felt really great about it. And I don't think I need to win. To, you know what I mean? I don't need to continue. Yeah. I feel like I experienced it and it was quite fun. And I know I could do it if I wanted to. So it's just something that's. It was a good experience. Yep. <laughs> Just didn't feel like that's. I don't feel like I have to continue to win. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like that. I feel like I got what I out of it, what I needed to get out of it. The challenge was there. It was challenging. But, yeah, I think nerves is the um, is the biggest challenge. You're conquering your nerves to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was quite to be there and painting with all those people, and they're really great artists too. And just to be, well, you know. considered good enough to do that too it was amazing yeah. and to win my first round was like phenomenal there was a lot of people there yep. so I was just like that was great of course I'm would uh, totally change my my tactic of painting <laughs> mm -hmm. my my choices of my last two paintings were not winners people just didn't enjoy them as much so. so i learned in that way yeah subject matter matters <laughs> yeah it does it does it was something i liked and i was like you know had my heart too but it wasn't a subject they liked and i was just like oh not winner so
Oh, that one I almost went through. If I want to cut through. Maybe. <laughs> so if I consider doing something like that again, they'd have to have some kind of competition in the town or something like that. My town. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would have to do it for like my town's sake. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then I would, of course, have something a little bit, my, my subject would be more popular. Because I did, my second painting was the Viking. And no yeah. one, it wasn't as popular as my first painting. So I'd have to definitely pay attention to that. To me, I'm like crazy about Vikings. So I thought that was a winner for sure. But no, I guess I'm the only one. <laughs> You, yeah, you'll be any crazy one. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm going to throw some heat, maybe keep some of these a little bit. brave enough to do art battle. <laughs> So I've got flea, three flea flowers, I've got three flowers on and I'm just going to fill up the rest of this now with curls and swirls and lines and whatever. takes my fancy. This is kind of coming undone here. What's going on? What's going on? No yeah. rhyme or reason. <laughs> My arm is really hurting. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having some. Oh. The muscle from my elbow here has really been hurting. Need some glue stick. Still have no idea what this is yet. <laughs> Abstract. Yeah, very. Mm. 
but it's good. Yep. I'm wondering if I should just go like this. Stick that in there. Nope, I don't like the weight. Stuck. Give me a minute. I'm sure I can like totally, once these dry, I can totally make them go any direction I want to that I like. I just have to get them to listen to me. Getting crazy. Don't know how I feel about it, but it's getting crazy. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just popping things down. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of popping them down, but they're moving a little bit more than I want because I'm using wet glue, but yeah. I'm still not sure how much I want to do. If I want to do the whole canvas. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and fill mine up if we've got time. <laughs> Oh, wait, I checked the time. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. My time jumped. It fell, sprung, sprung ahead. Mm -hmm. Time change? Oh, uh, you had a, uh, yeah. Your pox okay. went forward, did they? Yeah. I'm going to make sure that. Oh, I haven't gone back yet. And what are we going to do if you go back? What time? Is that going to be good or bad for us? I don't know. I can't. I think it's a horrible one. <laughs> oh, I have to change. Yeah. Oh, Wednesday's yeah. not just stuck till that time. Yeah, we just have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, I think it means me getting up at three o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dina. How are you? How long you been there? Hi. <laughs> Couple of minutes. <laughs> she be she popped in and shut there a couple of minutes. Sorry if uh, we ignored you for a couple of minutes there, but just moaning about the time changes. <laughs> yeah, I just my my clock sprung ahead. I did Honestly. wonder because I know part of America has yeah. gone ahead. So. <sighs> Well, they're um, 
voting if they're going to do it or not this year. Oh, really? Yeah. And of course, the vote to 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 keep continue with change time change was voted in. Mm -hmm. So, but that was the first time I think. I think that's well the first time I know of that um, they had that kind of vote here. Yeah. Like, so I might be wrong, but for Canada, anyways, or at least where I am. So we're recycling toilet paper rolls or um, kitchen rolls and trying to make some kind of art. <laughs> Just being a little bit abstract. <laughs> abstract, yeah. We're trying to recycle some. Oh, i got to go and let the cat out. We've, we've done um, books, like um, journal books type of thing, like little booklets. Yeah. So with the rules, we thought we'd try something a little different than mini we albums, yeah. I don't think I've never, yeah, we've done a mini album. I've never done something like this quite so. I'm getting it. Whoops. Dropping it. Oh. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to paint this. <laughs> I don't know. We will see how this is going to turn out. And I do not know what this is going to be. Yeah. I know <laughs> I normally do <clears throat> this, you know, sort of little mini album thing with mine. So I'm just going to do abstract art today. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll cut some something different. Yeah, we want to do something a little different. I don't know how long it's going to take for these things to dry on my canvas. Maybe it's going to be melting everywhere. <laughs> you have the thing about not, not drying, I have the thing about making a mess you know it's staying in place but it's making one <laughs> yeah an awful mess yeah i um do have this thing where nothing's dry <laughs> seems like i just keep going keep going I'm hoping I'll be able to get somewhat dry because I'd like to paint it. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to get to here, but mm -hmm. may not. <laughs> Maybe a two-parter. Yeah. Especially I might if I get frust frustrated by these glue strings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I kind of. Mm, I'm trying to think about what I want to do, and I don't know if I would like to have like little flowers like popping out or what. I'm just not sure.
I mean, I can go totally crazy with this. The problem here is that's... Maybe I put some of these too close together to be able to move these freely. I'm not sure. Reminds me of um, the mermaid wrapping, 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 yeah. <laughs> wrapping. As your dog come along, still wrapping. Yeah. Snipping, snipping, snipping. Yeah. <laughs> snip, 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 snip. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm even liking it. Okay. Ooh. Where did I put that? Oh, right here. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm happy with that. Ooh. I think I'm gonna pull out an egg carton now. <sighs> Pulling out an egg carton. What am I gonna do? Don't know. Well, I know I want to put egg curtain texture around. I'm just kind of checking to see if I can utilize these cones in here. Oh, I threw one over here. Oh, my cartons too. <laughs> well, you know what? I have. <laughs> Yeah. I have kind of a thing going on now in my yeah, mind. In the flow now. Pardon me? Yeah. I'm just going to go with a, an, um, something and see how it goes. Mm. I'm going to think of it as a alien plant life or something. <laughs> See how it turns out. See what it could be. It's very abstract. Why not push the limits? Why not just go for it? Right. It's a recycling still, so. And I know that this gets really soft too when you use um, a lot of glue on here. So you can really shape it too. I think I could really, I don't know. 
play with it anyway. We'll see how that works. I don't like it. Nee, nothing oh. ventured, nothing gain. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with it. See if I like the idea of sticking another foreign object in here. <laughs> Why not? Might want to um, soak these a lot more, but hey. dog and there's no Chloe here to let her out. <laughs> uh, I let my cat out. Just hold on to your little tail. <laughs> Can't you see I'm creating here? I'll be back. Yeah, go let him out. <laughs> yeah. Go let him out. Don't push your luck too far. Outside. Be that doesn't work. Meaning I have to go up and up or in. It has to be the bad thing. All right. I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but I kind of like it. It's just not sticky enough. Yeah. 
get a little bit of a stickier glue, hopefully, here. This other glue is just really garbage, but it is craft glue. Like cheap. Now I'm going to stick this down. Hopefully this tacky glue will work to help out a bit. Do my stomach rumbling. Good job you can't. Mm. Oh. Here. Come on. There goes a dog. <laughs> Barking. Barking. Mm -hmm. Can't hear him from here, though. No. <sighs> okay, okay. All right. I'm going to go right here. This is gonna get really wet. So I gotta shape it a bit so I gotta get a little bit wet. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm just getting for it. <laughs> yeah. Seems me just going for it, just doing it. I don't know if I like that. Nope, I don't think so. Take that out. Not right there. Maybe right there. Ew, I don't know what I want. I kind of like it, but the texture, maybe I should soak these in the glue a bit more. I kind of just brought them in real fast. I want them to stick. Please, my fingers. Because I want more texture than just the canvas mm -hmm. texture with it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna dip it in the glue and see what happens here. <laughs> I went a little crazy with it. Okay, I think I have a bit of a another idea. Some of this, I'm going to add some of this paper mache stuff. I know I'm going a little crazy. This is going to be messy. I'm going to stick it inside for texture. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to paint this. <laughs> that's you a problem. Wait. You have to wait for it to dry. Yeah. That's a problem for later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. I'm hoping this is not a mistake. I'm going to go in and try to get, maybe I should just mix some in a bowl. I don't know. We'll see. I'm pouring glue in. <laughs> okay. She's laughing at me. <laughs> Just going to take it a long time to dry in that. Well, I might. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Good. Sorry, it went yeah, there. Right. <laughs> it went there. That's all right. Yeah, we can come back and paint. There's that. Uh, this is going to take me a long time to fill this one up too. <laughs> it's like yeah. It's just that uh, I just yeah. I've got one of those wrapping scenarios here, so it's, like it's tedious and it's going to be long. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want, I want texture, so. Oh, yeah. well, you've got it. <laughs> yeah. I do. We'll see how that works. <laughs> it's experimental. That's what it's all about. Try that different things. I mean, I could have even like, instead of having this paper, like kind of have, uh, you know, recycled newspaper type of thing. Mm -hmm. in the shredder but I didn't think of that I just I knew I had this stuff and I love the texture of it when it's dry I just don't want to have flat canvas on there it just didn't look like that would be 
place should be. We will figure this out. It looks crazy right now, but I bet you it's going to look really good. <laughs> oh, I bet dog. it will too. More dogs are barking. Okay, I'm going to put paint all over or glue all over. Texture. How I'm going to paint this is still. It's a mystery. <laughs> Yeah, still a mystery to me. Do I go green? I don't think I go green anymore. I thought you were saying alien plant life. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking maybe. But we'll see how it goes. It could be like lots of different colors. can't believe I went way over there. <laughs> okay, I think I have to get those five dogs in. <sighs> one more side, one more side. I don't know where I'm going with this, but that is crazy. <laughs> we don't know where you're going with it either, but <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Okay, this is the last spot here. Then I got to kind of get that all sealed in somehow. Let the dogs in. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Not who let the dogs out, it's who let the dogs in. <sighs> I have no picture in my mind for this. I'm just going circles and things. <laughs> so. I'm just looking up into the camera and I'm seeing where there are gaps and I'm just filling them in. That's my plan of action and that's all I'm doing. Just looking up there. 
Well, I'm not looking up there, I'm actually looking at my screen. <laughs> And this gap here looks really, really big on the screen, but it's actually in reality quite small. <laughs> I'm looking at it from here and it looks quite small. I'm thinking I won't put one in there and then I look up on the screen and it looks huge. <laughs> so. And I've got strings of glue everywhere. Okay. Okay. I don't know. This is a lot of glue, but that's okay now. Let's see. I have I actually think I might take this one piece off the edge. It's the only one on the edge. And I'll keep that one off the edge. And let's just push that on a bit more. And Well, look at them now, and um, people wouldn't guess that it's toilet paper roll, would they? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I got a few little pieces of curtain here, but yeah. And yeah, paper, you. Shredded paper, shredded paper. Yeah. But it's what you start out with, isn't it? It's like, wow. Yeah. I just wanted to do a really textured canvas around it. It just didn't mm. seem right. So. The inside was also not textured enough for me. We'll see how that works. I'll try to make it better here. <sighs> Quiet, you guys. No fighting, whoever's fighting. Probably bugging the cat. Not everyone gets along with the cat. They try to be like, I am better than you. <laughs> and the cat's like, whatever. I'm like 10 times the size of you. You still scare me. stand up because I want to make sure some of these pieces are going a little bit in and I'm kind of moving them because I'm putting this paper texture in there but kind of like it Some of this mush in another part doesn't have so much texture. Well, I think I said last week that I was taking my library books back, didn't I? 
I haven't done it yet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so I think I better take my library books back today. Don't get charged for um, overdue fees anymore. No. So there's no real incentive to take them back on time, is there? Well, they do sometimes here. Like right now, a lot of places don't, but then we still do. Mm -hmm. So, right. but my my uh, manager's thinking like, why bother when most places don't? But yeah, I don't know how I feel about that yet. Yeah. Yeah, you, there's no incentive to take yeah, them back. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's my opinion. But yeah, my my one book's three weeks overdue. Am I bothered? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, of course not. Because there's, you know, I'm not yeah. going to get fined for it. They just keep asking me to take them back so someone else can enjoy them. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> take them back today. That's what you get now as a reminder on the email. Yeah, yeah. Please take them back so someone else can enjoy them. Okay, eventually, I will. <laughs> One day. So you can tell this your manager end, that. Just a, this <laughs> might end up just being a huge mess. I don't know. Yeah, you've got to wait for it to dry now, haven't you? Really? Yeah, I'm going to try to dry as much as I can, see if I can kind of shape the other ends, but I can't really shape them too much uh, as of yet. There's a lot of glue coming on here. Let's see what I could do about drying. What do I have here? What do I have here? This is. Oh, is she going to bring out the heavy duty? <laughs> the heavy well, I... duty one, paint stripper one. <laughs> I have this. Uh... No, I'm not going to bring out that one. Light brown. I think I got this cut color burst. I'm going to see. I might just put, throw a little bit of that in there and see if it'll soak up in the glue. I don't know what, why. I'm just going to try it. This is experiment. Color burst, you add water and it just bursts, yeah. right? Yeah. So, That'll be interesting, yeah. Oh, it's not working like this. So what can I do? Maybe just grab a popsicle stick. That might be a bit much, but we'll just try not to put so much. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. This is an experiment. Total experiment. I'm hoping it's one of those ones that turn out really good. Yeah. Obviously. Why <laughs> you won't be doing it? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be taking my chances. Feeling a little lucky. What's that, Clint Eastwood? Saying, yeah, do you feel lucky? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might be putting a lot on here, but you know what? I'm, I'm going for it. Yay. <laughs> I love it when you go for it. I'm really feeling like this could be the next. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just being silly, but. I'm really liking it. Let's see. I'm going to add a little water. I know there's glue on here. Spray in it, will you? Yeah, I'm going to spray just to spread yeah. it. The... I don't want to dry it yet. So... I probably could have dr dr dried it just a tad, but whatever. Let's see what happens here. Need my mouse. We don't want to spray my mouse. I don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how it's going to spread because this is like paper and glue. Can 
might not spray at all. It might be just a big mess. I don't know how I feel about right now. Not spreading as much as I thought it would, but it's all on paper and glue. Okay. I'm going to start drawing it a bit. Okay. <laughs> It's like, whoa. We'll see if this was a mistake. You don't play around with what you have, you know. With the, with all the products that you have, then you never, never, never know what it's capable of doing. So, you know, and, and that's what the best time to do that is it, is it in a craft along, you know, when you're just having a little bit of de-stress time, a bit of fun. Just like, this is the perfect opportunity just to play. <laughs> play, play, play. See what, see what, see what things do. I mean, on screen here, you cannot see the amount of glue and that that's just like everywhere. <laughs> it's like, uh, but um, it's going to get covered over with gesso and and that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But you don't know until you play with it, do you? Just trying to find a place for this one. Well, the glue dries in the corner. I'm going to fill in some of these spaces here. Going down here, round here, for the nose. We'll play, have fun. What we do, I mean, I mean, done that for the first time, so she's going to see whether it works or not. And she'll know for next time whether it works or not. I think that maybe I shouldn't have put the color on there, but I probably should use a spray bottle of color. I've got some green here, so I'm going to throw that on. I'm not sure how I'm going to like the green, but it might have been better. This is alcohol. This is so old. This is a marker and alcohol. Yeah. And what else do I have over here? Oh, this color might be nice. I need 
more alcohol in here. I've been two hours gluing toilet roll to a piece of cardboard. <laughs> uh, okay. I am the dry more. Okay, my, my fingers are aching now. <laughs> if you heard that, that was my stomach, and I apologize. <laughs> it's getting more. <laughs> Yeah, as I say, when I started, I'm just going to try and fill it all in. <laughs> or I give it the will to live, whichever comes first. <laughs> when you start out, it seems like a good idea at the time. <laughs> Slowly, slowly catch your monkey. Come back now and I think we'll have hers all painted and I'm still going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't finished mine yet, still wrapping. interesting sorry i'm well, like, no, okay. the cardboard is bending towards the heat in different directions and is actually quite cool yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying that the color right now i'm not enjoying no but that's okay because i think i'm gonna add uh, some color to it unless you have to go no <laughs> fine this might be just a big mess but uh, I kind of 
I'm just returning library books and getting groceries today and trying not to spend too much money because everything's so expensive, but I won't go yeah. on about that. <laughs> I don't know. Even though I just did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you notice how quickly I did that? I don't want to be a moaner. Okay. I would have to say that the um, putting the powder may be a mistake, but I was hoping that would bleed through it more. Yeah. But hey. Yeah. It's a good idea, but, you know, unless you try it, you never know. Mm hmm This looks like a mess, but I think I could... Uh, now, if you want to, you can always dry it off, let it dry, and then we can come back and paint afterwards. Yeah, I might have to do that. I just want to see if I can. I mean, it's looking. If it doesn't work for you. Yeah. Because, uh, because mine, you know, I've still got to paint through mine. So, you know, it's going to take me a while because <laughs> I'm still adding cardboard. And I wouldn't want to do it on this one. You know, I wouldn't start, want to start painting eggs. It'll take me a while. Yeah. I'm going to have to do something. It would probably even dry lighter in some spots. I just went too crazy with it. Mm, yeah. Darn, darn, darn. Too much. Try and get rid of all these blue strings as well. get all the glue off my mat. ugly stage that's for sure hmm
there's definitely got I got covered at brown. It's way too dark. <laughs> it was supposed yeah. to. I was hoping it was going to spread more in the glue. It might, I suppose, but uh, I don't know now. It's too dark for what I wanted. Okay, you can let it dry, and we'll come back and. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than try and do it now because we've been here a couple of hours. Yeah. It looks terrible now, but I think I can make it look really cool. It's just looking really bad right now. <laughs> but mm -hmm. who knows? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't freak right. out. Well, that's good. I'm sure I can bring it back. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Stay tuned. Come back and see if the uh, hiding. I might stick some wires in there mm -hmm. so then they can dry hard with All the right, stuff yeah. in there. Cool. I think that's the only thing I'll do. Okay. Okay. And then we'll come back and uh, paint because I'll have a lot of painting to do as well. <laughs> yeah. I don't stick some wires in there. I'm gonna be sorry. So I'm gonna stick floral wires in there. Yeah. Okay. We will come back and uh, we'll be painting it up, finishing off mm -hmm. video, and uh, come and see what we do next. Hi, Mike. We're just about to leave, matey. <laughs> yeah. Just about to leave. Then I'll, uh, our toilet roll recycling <laughs> abstract mess that <laughs> for this week yeah eileen uh, tried a different technique on hers and said but so we're going to come back another day and paint them up so uh that's mine just like you know my toilet roll i'm putting wires in there i got um mushed up paper mache stuff in my rolls and i added a paint powdered paint that didn't work just to try to get some paint in there because I didn't want it all white in between. Now I'm just adding a rolled up wire in there so then I can have something coming out of my center of my alien whatever this is. <laughs> so then that'll all dry up and then we'll continue next week. It's weird. I know, but it should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a couple in there already. Okay, see you later, guys. Yeah. Okay, we're off now, and we'll see you all again next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, Mike. <laughs> see you all again very soon. Bye.